Hey guys, it's Amy at Zoe Beck and I'm going to do the next part in my series of the biggest books on my TBR. So today we're going to talk about all the books that are a thousand plus pages on my TBR. So I already did one from 900 to 999 pages. So this is the next one that is everything that's above a thousand pages. So again, I've seen a lot of people do the biggest books on their TBR and they'd have a few books that were really big and some of those are on my TBR, but I have a lot. So um, again, understand that I do, <laughs> I do have a very extensive library that I've been uh, uh, making uh, for decades. And so it's, I have a lot of books. Anyway, so um, we're gonna talk about the 13 books that I have that are over a thousand pages on my TBR. So again, these are all the physical books. I do not have any ebooks that are that long. So um, anyway, so let's just jump into this. So my first book at 1,083 pages is The History of the Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire, Volume 1 by Edward Gibbon. So I've not bought any more of these, but I do have the first one, and it's like a project book. So this is the only nonfiction in my above 1,000 page books. Just be aware, I am not counting notes. I am only counting the text. So all the books that are in the last video, as well as this one, it is all just the um, the actual text of the book. I'm not counting in notes that were added to those editions. So this is 1,083 pages. So, uh, and again, this is the history, uh, volume one of three of the rise, the decline and fall of the Roman Empire. So it's like a project book. I would like to do this at some point. I'm not sure when. Um, number the next one is *The Wise Men's Fear* by Patrick Rothfuss. This is the second book in the *King's King Killer Chronicles*. So I've read the first book, *Name of the Wind*, several times, twice, and then um, I just did not continue because I made a decision not to win until I had there was a third book was actually being published because <laughs> it's gonna be a while. So um, anyway, so this is a thousand. No, 1,105 pages in this edition. So I do want to continue with this series. Uh, Name of the One is not one of my favorite books. Um, you know, there was quite a few issues for me, which is why I have not continued into this, even though, you know, it's a very popular series. But because their third book is like in limbo, I'm not gonna continue just yet. But I have it. <laughs> um, and then we have Krypton, okay. Kryptonomicon. I think it's how it's said by Neil Stevenson. So this is 1,130 pages. And I think this is like a, a World War II adventure with finance, crypto, crypto, cryptography, you know, like the, I think code breaking, I'm not quite sure. No idea. It has it says something about soldiers and secrets and gold. I don't know. So anyway, um, I've had that for a while. <laughs> I haven't read that one yet, so it's it's probably there's probably something more to just um, that. I mean, not just it's not just it's not fish can I'm uh, not just historical fiction. I think it's there's probably some um, science fiction aspect to it because that's usually what is in his books. Um, the next book I have two copies of because of reasons <laughs> anyway, but that is I or one Q eighty four by Hiroko Murakami. This is translated from the Japanese by um, Jay Rubin and Philip Gabriel. So I bought this book when it came out in paperback the first time, but I haven't got to read it yet, clearly. Um, and then I found the three, the one they broke it up into three books. Um, so it's the same, they're exactly the same amount of pages in both of these, is 11.57. So um, I'm probably gonna read this one, but I might, after I finish reading it, decide which, which I'm gonna keep. I haven't decided yet. As I said, I'm hoping this year, I'm going to read this to get, I'm trying to get through all my <laughs> Murakamis that I have not read, and this is one of them. So, um, anyway, but I've had that for a little bit, and I don't even know what the story's about anymore, so it's, sorry, it's, it's probably some kind of surrealism, you know, magical realism thing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even remember. Um, and then, um, I have another one that I have two editions of. <laughs> this one's more, this is different translations, though. So the number I'm counting on this one is War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. This is uh, 1,215 pages. This is the translation from Russian by Richard Pevere and Larissa 
Bolaronsky. And then I also have the Constance Gardner. I just couldn't get her name out of my head. I say it out loud. Um, but this comes out in thir as a 1,386. So it's like 100 and 150 pages more in this version than this one. So I maybe it's the page size. I don't know. Point is, um, I got I had this one and I started it in a read along two or three years ago, and I didn't get very far. I mean, I have my bookmark and I didn't. I got like oh 50 pages in, and I just at the time I was just it was just not the time for me to be reading it, and I wasn't I was following a, a schedule, but I'm not very good at reading every day on anything. Um, I'm usually, you know, read the book constantly and not, st anyway, never mind. Point is, is that I have two versions because I want, I didn't know if I got along with this translation, but I've heard mixed things on both of them. So I thought I would have a chance to, to try each when I do actually do that one. And again, that was 1,215. So then we have, uh, 1,232, which is Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. This is translated from the French by Norman Denny. This is one of the oldest books on my TBR and the oldest one in this, this batch. Um, actually, you know, I think it's the oldest one I've, I've probably that I'm going to show in this series. But anyway, I've had this since the early 2000s and I haven't read it yet. So, and again, it's a classic. I, I really should read it. Um, and I don't know a whole lot about it. I mean, I watched the musical back in the early 2000s when I bought the book. I don't know. So, um, Again, this one I'd like to get to really soon, but I just have not. And again, that's 100, uh, 1,232. <laughs> Sorry, the numbers are harder when they're so high. The next one is The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. So two French uh, writers right in a row. This one was translated by Robin Buss. This one is 1,243 pages. So this one is actually one I really want to pick up this year. Um, I have put this off. I think I just had it in my mind that I wanted to finish another series of his and I just, I'm just gotten to the point now where I really want to read this so bad that I just think I need to read it. <laughs> so I'm really looking, for, I really want to read it this year. Um, and again, this is a revenge tale. I think, I don't, yeah. Anyway, so we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Again, that was a 1,230, no, 1,243. And then we have, so this one is again another one with my multi copies. Is The Way of Kings by Brandon Stanerson. Uh, this is the first book in the Stormlight Archive. So these are epic fantasy. It's the first book of a 10 book proposed 10 book series. Um, I have not started this series at all. So I had, I got this mass market, which comes out to 1,252 pages, but I invested in the UK, the split version. And it's actually less pages in this version, but I put down this one only cause I want to try to see if I can read it out of it. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to try to read both versions and see which one I like better. I'm sure I'm going to like this one better, but this costs more money. Anyway, I don't know what I did this for. Anyway, so, but this comes out, this is like a little, like this is 1116 pages, but this is 1252. And I guess, I don't know why I put it that way. Anyway, but that's. We want to get to that. I would like to start that series. I mean, I, they got four books out now. I, I could, I don't know. We'll see. Um, and then um, at 1,266 is Jerusalem by Alan Moore. So this is epic. Uh, I don't know. It's some kind of, I'm not even sure what this book is about. It's uh, talking about an area in England. And uh, I think it's just kind of like everything involved in it. I think it's very mythical and stuff. I'm not sure. I blame Steve Partridge. Anyway, point is, is I got this and that is 1,266. I just got that. That's one. Um, and then the second book in the Stormlight Archive is one is Words of Radiance by Brandon Saracen. Again, this is uh, 1,303 pages. So again, I'll see how it works with the other book, which version I'll go with. For right now, I have this big brick so when I get to that, I can move on to that. And then one that I'm sure a lot of people have on their TBRs that's gigantic is A Suitable Boy by Vikram Seth. So this is um, a story about India and I think people, I think a family is trying to find um, 
someone for their daughter to marry. And I'm not sure really beyond that. That's about all I know. I bought, I got it this one. I thought there was going to be a read along, uh, the last, this last year, but it didn't happen. But anyway, 1,474 pages. And then, oh, I got anniversaries, um, from a year in the life of Guinness. Oh, I can't talk. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, Guinness uh, Sepal. Um, this is by Ewan Johnson, and I know this is translated by um, Damien Serrells. Serrells, I think it's from German. Um, anyway, so this I bought this. I think saw the book mania. I was reading it, and then I know um, Kathy at the Grim Reader read it. Um, so I, it's someone. It has to do with a year in this woman's life. Um, like it's fictional, like, and it's just like nineteen. I think it's August 1968 to August 69 and it's supposed to be really a, a living in New York and her and her her uh, 10 year old I don't know it was a daughter I think it's a daughter and it's just talking about their lives and things and it's like I guess there's like a chapter a day for the year so it's like one of those yearly project ones which of course <laughs> I'm not very good at but we'll see at some point I picked it up <laughs> I have it this was 1,660 eight pages so again it's split into two volumes but you know it, it is fully that thing so anyway and then the last book if that wasn't big enough is the man without qualities by robert musel this is translated from the german by uh well, i can't remember where was it uh sophie wilkins so this, um, again, it is in two volumes, but it, it's the same story. It's a, I think it's like uh, pre-World um, War I and going into World War I, I think is how it goes. So it's talking about the Austrian Empire. Um, so this book is like 725 pages by itself, the first volume, but the second volume is uh, over 1,500. 1050. So altogether is 1,770 pages for this book. I got the, I got, this is another one I picked up used. Just, I'd seen it on somebody's channel for read more German books. And then I picked it up. Anyway, so that is the biggest on my TBR. And those are the biggest books, biggest books I own on my TBR. Again, these are all the thousand plus books. And that's a lot of them. And that's a lot of pages. So, um, anyway, are there any of these that you think I should pick up sooner rather than later? The ones that are totally worth it to invest the time in. Again, all of these I have, I want to read right away, except for Words of Radiance, because it's the sequel of one of the, one of the other ones. But these are books I, I do want to pick up at some point. So let me know if they're on your TBR or if, uh, you've really enjoyed them. And um, let me know if you want me to do the 800s or the 700s. I have that li those lists ready to go if I do want to film those. But again, I have the 900s out and now the 1,000 pl plus. So anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.